Hi everybody and welcome. I'm going to show you how to install add-ons in Blender 4 and Blender 3 Legacy. In Blender 4, just go to Edit, Preferences, and you'll see a new tab here called Get Extensions. Now, this isn't going to work unless you go to System and make sure it has Allow Online Access ticked on. So we'll go back to the Get Extensions here. And one of the things you'll notice right away is that we have updates. These add-ons are tied to repositories, which when the creator updates them, will show an update here for extra mesh objects. You can update that. And then you can also go to their website, which they have here. Now to install an add-on, you'll just go to install in this little drop down arrow, install from disk. This will install legacy. It will also install the extensions. Legacy is just the old add-on style. Double click this and it will install, but we don't see it. So what we could do is type this in and I'll just type in one of the names that's in it and we'll have it here. Now you can uninstall also from the extensions tab and it will uninstall it. Now under add-ons, sometimes you will see that there will be an actual uninstall or remove button for the older legacy style. Now under here, we go to the isometric room. We will then see all the other preferences and things that the creator intended for you to see. Also under Blender 4 and up right here, you can install all available updates if you wish, and you can turn repositories on and off. Now over in Blender 3.6, we will notice that the edit and preferences only has the add-ons tab. Now, if I want to install here, I'll just go to the install tab and I can install this add-on and straight away it is not enabled. So you'll have to go ahead and click that to enable the add-on so it shows in the end panel. Then drop down this little arrow here and you'll see the same things you saw before. Now here is the remove button and this is where you would remove a legacy add-on. One more notable thing, Inside of Blender 4 extensions, you will see a little folder icon that will allow you to actually open the folder that contains all of the files for that add-on. This can be very useful if you wanted to update it or tinker with it, or it has some type of asset pack you could expand just by dumping things into the folders. Thanks for watching, guys.